There is insufficient rainfall to support the consumption demands of the public, forcing officials to declare water-related emergency. Low rainfall over the past two months has resulted in insufficient water to recharge the John Compton Dam. A water-related emergency means that people are now banned from using quality water for purposes other than bathing, cooking and drinking. Where you used to water your lawns or you know, use your, your hose to wash your, your vehicle, um, even for significant agricultural activity, that person should uh, cease and desist from doing that until you know there is, um, well, the level of rainfall has increased. Wasco is now moving back into a normal mode of operation. So it's a matter of conservation. So right now it's, it's, it's more or less water for the population. So a lot of activities or a lot of complementary activities that depend on, 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 on water from Wasco that person should cut down on, on, on those activities. Restrictions on non-potable water use could affect farmers who depend heavily on water for crops and livestock. The construction sector may also be impacted by the prohibition. However, Director of the Water Resource Management Agency, Jason Ernest, says farmers and manual laborers can abstract water downstream of Wasco's intake. In a number of catchments, um, they're not really into a hydrological drought per se. So we're in a meteorological, agricultural, but in a hydrological um, drought is some of the catchment. It's not all the catchment because, you know, um, the profile and the characteristics for the different catchments around the island are different. So persons, there is still water available downstream that ordinarily would go to the, to the sea, but there is still enough water in some of them that abstraction can happen and they would still have enough left for environmental flows. Notwithstanding the water crisis, health officials continue to advise the public to practice regular hand washing to prevent contracting the COVID-19 virus. Moreover, the nation has to contend with the reopening of resorts and the approaching hurricane season. Program Development Officer at NEMO, Andrew George, says everyone needs to be considerate about water usage the Climate Adaptation Financing Facility, which gives small loans and for persons to purchase tanks uh, and water storage, uh, anything to, to, to be able to store water. Also, water harvesting uh, instruments so that you can, you can then harvest rainwater for yourself. So persons can get that, that, that uh, access to, to that. Uh, so for us at the national level, this is all the little pieces that we're trying to put together to ensure that at the end of the day, Water is not only conserved, but people have enough water to meet the basic needs so that industry can continue, the economy can continue, and then persons have enough water to keep themselves sanitized and sanitary because we, with COVID you need to ensure you do a lot of hand washing. Officials continue to preach the importance of water conservation and investing in rainwater harvesting and tanks. The St. Lucia Met Service predicts that St. Lucia could see increased rainfall sometime in July. That means another two months of possible bone dry conditions and empty taps. Anyone found in violation of the water related emergency could face a hefty fine of $3,000 and or six months behind bars. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.